Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. I really wanted to show you something a little bit more on the basic side, something simple that doesn't take up a lot of time. And this is just like a stable look that I would wear. You guys know I would wear, I mean, I love glitter. I love a little bit of color. I love a smoked out lash line. If you guys watch my channel and my videos, you guys know this. This is not a new palette, but it is affordable. Morphe times Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. You can buy this at Ulta. This is not a new product, so I don't really know if this video is like that important or like, high on your list of priorities of things to watch. I'm just doing my eyes, but if you're interested in anything else that is on my face, please do scroll down. I type out everything that is on my face, so whether I mention it or not, it's all down there. Make sure you click that subscribe button and also click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I prime my lids using some concealer. I was pretty generous with the concealer. I put it all around my eyes. This way I can really smoke out the shadow and blend it out to perfection before going in and finishing off the face. Up into the shade Lynn. This is gonna help brighten up the eyelid while also setting that concealer, making the rest of the shadow glide on a little bit easier and blend out a little smoother. Using that on a fluffy brush, you can use that on whatever brush you like. I like a fluffy brush though, because I feel like it disperses it and dust it over nicely and doesn't create a big chunky layer, whereas a flat brush might pack it on a little bit too much. I kind of go like orange because I'm wearing like orangey neutral tones today. Mr. Diva. And I'm just gonna start putting that into the crease, creating some dimension and adding some depth to the lid. And again, the rest of our face isn't done, so feel free to really blend this out. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Mr. Diva and I'm gonna put that underneath the lower lash line and just smoke that out. Channel. I'm gonna take that on like a flat, fluffy brush. I'm starting in the outer third of the eye and just stamping this. And I'm gonna put it on the outer third of the lid as well just to start deepening out this outer corner. You guys know how I like to do that. And then I'm gonna wiggle it, what's ever left, all the way through. I'm gonna look in the mirror in front of me and make sure that my eyes are even. I think this one is a little bit more pigmented than the other one, so I'm gonna add a little bit more to this eye when you're doing your makeup. Just make sure everything is symmetrical. You gotta add a little bit more, add a little bit more. Like, do the extra steps to just perfect it. Lightly, just blend this all out. And then I'm gonna take what's ever left and brush it underneath the lash line. I think I wanna use some wand noise. A flat brush like this, and I'm just gonna put that on the outer third of the eye to really deepen up that outer corner. And I'm kind of just like pressing and stamping that shade in and I'm keeping it to the lid. blending brush again. I'm kind of just like brushing it in towards the inner corner, like really lightly, because I don't want to blend all the shades in together. I just want to soften this orange and make it more of like a haze. And then I'm going to go in the crease and just very lightly blend it out. Dog mom right here. And I'm going to stamp that on the inner portion of the eye where I have no eyeshadow yet. I'm just stamping that on with my finger. and bring that up into the crease just to like make that inner corner look a little bit bigger. Blend it out a little bit on like barely touching the lid. Wand noise again. I'm gonna take that on this fluffy brush that we've been using for most of this. This is the Morphe M441. Grabbing a little bit of that and I'm gonna put that underneath the eye. I kind of want to bring that reddish orange down here for a little bit more drama. And I'm gonna connect it in the outer corner and I'm starting on the outer portion of my eye and then bringing it in and again just blend 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 take your time blending I kind of want to take the shade millions I'm going to put some on my finger and I'm going to put that in the very center of my lid so I'm going to tilt my head back and just pat this I don't love the glitters in this palette they don't really show up that well um, and they don't really come off my finger. The Tati Beauty glitters are a lot better than this one. I just wanted to show you that like, see, like not a lot comes off. Like you don't get a lot of pigment or payoff 
and most of it is on my finger. You can see I did get a little bit of glitter, but it's kind of sad. It comes off very like streaky. It's not very fluid. It comes off in patches. It's just, it's just, it's not, it's me. I don't like it. I'm gonna go into my Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals. I'm gonna grab the Soothe Glitter on my finger and I'm gonna show you the difference. So doing the same exact thing. Yeah, and like, look at that. That just deposits it so nicely. And I'm gonna put this all over where I put that metallic shade. Tati, Jeffrey, or Morphe, whatever you wanna call it. So I am doing the same thing on this eye. Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. I've tried this in black and I really do like it, but I wanna try it in brown. I feel like a nice brown liner would look really nice with this eye. Okay, so I've put on the rest of my face. Now I just want to go ahead and finish off the lashes. I think I just want to highlight a little bit of the brow bone. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to hop in to Lynn just because I think I want like a matte highlight. I think that's what I'm feeling for this look. And I'm just going to pop that underneath the brow bone. And then I'm going to put some on the inner corner of my eye as well. And then I'm just going to take that fluffy brush that we set our concealer with in the way beginning and I'm just going to blend that out. Curl them really quickly. Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I'm going to use my Koki Retractable and Dusty Rose and I'm just going to line my lips. My Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease. All right, guys, and this is the finished makeup look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what do you think about this palette? Do you own this palette? Would you go out and buy this palette? Just let me know your thoughts. Anything that you guys want to talk about down below and be sure to leave any questions or if you would like to see a certain video, you would like me to review a certain product, then be sure to leave that request down below as well. Before you leave, just make sure you're subscribed and also click that bell button. This way you get notification whenever a new video goes up on my channel. We are uploading twice a week here in 2020 and my upload days are Wednesday and Sunday. So be sure that your bell is rung so that you get a notification as soon as those videos go live. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.